2014, I finished shooting Nirbak, my Bengali, Bengali film. film. Yeah. And I felt, and I fell violently sick, and we could not figure out what had happened. Uh, and then an array of tests took place, and we discovered that after, of course, fainting finally and falling down and being rushed to the doc to the hospital, that there is a, a hormone in the body which is called cortisol. So my adrenal glands had stopped making it. So I was lucky to come out of that fainting spell because I had gone into an adrenal crisis. Um, so the next thing after that would have been my organs packing up one by one. But for some reason, I came back uh, from it and was declared steroid dependent for life, which means that I had to take a medicine called hydrocortisone, which is a steroid, every eight hours to stay alive because the body no longer made that. And needless to say, started the next two years of so much of trauma, so much of trauma because I'm in the public eye. Yeah. I am a former Miss Universe, yeah. supposed to be this very beautiful woman. And I have hair that's falling. And I'm looking at it every day. I have moon, uh, become moon-faced and I have steroid deposits. So you have to understand, this is not steroids that you take to work out. Yeah. This is a completely different steroid that makes you put on weight. Right. Uh, you start to lose your bone density you start to have very high blood pressure. I was very, very sick. And I was still a single mom with two kids who needed me in different ways immensely to be there. I um, just was really mad with everything going on around me. And then I kind of had this moment where I said, if you take my energy away from me, who am I? Because I've been, that's who I recognize myself right. with. So now if you go back in time between 2014 and 2016, you will see a very different Sushmita in all her public appearances. But it taught me a lot. During that time, I, um, of course, went to London to be treated. I went to Germany for uh, being treated. And there is a test called the Synactin test. They did that and both times they declared me steroid dependent for life. And I was like, I don't want to be able to live with steroids in my body because yeah. I can see the side effects of this taking place already. Yeah. Um, I couldn't open my eyes because they had swollen up. I, I, my eyesight was getting weaker. It was just because I was doing 60 mg of steroids a day, uh, which would go up to 100 mg if I was doing a press conference or a wow. show. Right. To accommodate energy, I had to keep upping it and it was terrible. During this time, a thought crossed my mind. I said, if this does kill me, people would never know who I was. Mm. They would only have versions of right. he, this article, that story. So one night, I just got onto Instagram and opened that page. The reason I don't follow anybody on it is because that's not what I got onto it for. Mm. I got on and stayed true to it that I will tell you my life right. with as much honesty as I have lived it so that when you look back you'll say that is the Sushmita that I knew not these other versions of her right. so that that's why I keep it and I share as much as possible but yes during those two years I made a promise to myself I'll go down fighting I'm not gonna go down with the patient because you see I was told by all the doctors possible that I had to change my profession because the idea was the stress management mechanism was no longer working in the body. Right. So if you're going to be an actor or you're going to be in the public eye, it's going to bother you that you're losing your hair. It's right. going to bother you that you're losing uh, your face yeah. and your skin and you're going to be putting on weight. So give it up. And I said, no, I will give it up. I'm going to do it as much as I can and then be done when I'm done, you yeah. know? So the first thing I did is the doctor said not to do any anti-gravity because I had ACTH and, and cortisol, cortisol technical terms connected with each other mm. so no blood rush to the brain 
when they all gave me bad news, the first thing I did is call up my teacher, my trainer, and said, we start gymnastic rings. We get on anti-gravity. Because if they're telling me that this is the only thing I am not to do, I'm going to do it. Exactly that, yeah. I'm going to do it because I don't like who I'm becoming mm. in the attempt to survive. Uh, this is not the best advice for all of you out there yeah, suffering yeah. from certain conditions. It's who my body needed to be. It's different. You, when you listen to your body, it's different. I went through detoxing, I went through everything possible that you can think of medically, but I introduced aerial silk, anti-gravity. And I went back to yoga. I started to discover everything in my body and listening to it. And in 2008, uh, 2016 end, in October, I finally collapsed, badly. And when I collapsed, I was rushed to Abu Dhabi because there was a Cleveland hotel, uh, hospital there. Um, and God bless a few people in my life who bent backwards to, during this time to take care of me. Um, one of them is Yasin, who is in uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, Dubai. Uh, one was Rithik Basin in, in India. Uh, amazing, amazing people. They went out of the way. My teacher, Nupur. Uh, his mom, who's my teacher as yeah. well, they went out of their way to look after me during that time. And uh, I finished reaching Abu Dhabi. They took me off steroids, they hospitalized me, and they did the synactin test again. And then they released me from there to go back to Dubai. I was barely reaching Dubai, I was driving down. And the doctor, who's Turkish, calls up and says, so Shmita, have you taken the, 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 the pill already? I go, no, doctor, I have to eat something, then I'll take it. You need to stop right now. I go, like, cold turkey on steroids? That's a bad idea, no? Why, why should I stop again? So he goes, because your body is producing it. He says, in 35 years of my practice, somebody with an adrenal failure has never come back to producing cortisol again. It is, I, I cannot even believe that I've tested it three times because I didn't want to risk giving you this news without being sure. You need to go cold turkey. You're going to suffer withdrawals, obviously. But I prefer you suffer the withdrawals and subject your body to any more steroids. You just beat it out of your system. So from two, well, of course, needless to say, I was stumped. Like I waited for this moment to hear these yeah, very words, yeah. but when they finally happened, I didn't know how to react to it for a very long time. And then I stopped the steroids at that point and from 2016 October up until 2018 August last year. I went through the worst withdrawal possible. Yeah. Um, everything was affected deeply so it was not good but throughout I went back to training uh, vigorously. I've been blessed to have found doctors in India and abroad uh, Dr. Ansari actually, I love the fact that I can take his name now. He's been my lifesaver here and there have been people who have gone out of their way to get me back on my feet.